What's up, guys? Welcome to a new video. Today, it's time to do pick, do my picks for the 2019 Geico 500. This weekend, we had a Talladega Motor Speedway where there was a lot of uncertainty because we have a new package. This is the first time in 30 seasons that we are not using the restrictor play package. Instead, we're using the taper spacer package that have been using at the mile and a half racetracks. However, the spoiler is really big because they did a test earlier this year at Talladega and they noticed that the speeds were too high so they made the spoiler even bigger if that makes any sense so there's a lot of uncertainty going into this race for a lot of people because no one really knows what's going to happen for this race but yeah I don't know what to expect I don't know because people have said there's gonna be tandem drafting some say there's gonna be wilder passing which I think there's gonna be wilder passing for this race. I think you're going to see some crazy pass. I think you might see some tandem drafting. We really don't know what to expect for this Talladega race. Whether it's going to be good or bad. I think the race is going to be good. But that's just me though. But yeah. Let's get into the picks. So how we do is who's going to suck. Who's the underdog. And who's going to win the race. So my, my who's going to suck pick. It's going to shock some of you. This guy... It has a 20.7 average finish, 27 race starts, 1 win, 6 top 5s, 7 top 10s, 13 top 20s, and has led 234 laps. My so who's going to suck pick, and this is going to shock some of you, is going to be Kyle Busch. I think this is the one race, this and Daytona, even though Daytona did really well, I think this and Daytona are his worst, are the two tracks I don't think he really has a shot to win most of the time. And I don't think Teddy's going to get go to Big Shirley and Talladega. I could be wrong, but I don't think Kyle Busch is going to do anything in Talladega. That's just me, though. Now to my underdog pick. My underdog pick has a 18.9 average finish, 25 starts, no wins, 3 top 5s, 7 top 10s, 15 top 20s, and has led 50 laps here at Talladega International Speedway. My underdog pick... Is Paul Menard. Now, why did I pick Paul Menard? Well, two reasons. One, he has Ford. And Ford is dominated here, especially at restrictor plates. Especially Penske. Penske's won most of the last 20 races here. I think Paul Menard is the underdog pick. Plus, he's got Joey Meyer as a spotter. And Joey Meyer has led Brad Kislowski. To five victory has a lot of, no Kislowski to four victories at Talladega. That is why Paul Menard is my underdog pick for Talladega. Now to the next my winning pick. So my winning pick has a 15.7 average, average finish, 20 starts, five wins, seven top fives, 11 top tens, 12 top 20s, and 261 laps led. Does not have a pole, however. My winning pick for this weekend is going to be no other than Brad Keselowski. Keselowski's won five times here. He's the bet. He has the most of anybody in the cup field currently. And he's a really good restricted play racer. Watch out for Brad Keselowski to go for a sixth win at Talladega International Speedway. Um, yeah, that's so those are my picks for this race here at Talladega. I want to thank you guys for watching. Apologies yesterday for not having a video. Um... Yesterday, I thought I was doing my public speech, and I didn't because it's not until Friday. That will be the video coming out Friday is the public speech that I did. It's my public speaking speech. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Turn notifications on so you can find a video goes live on my channel. Uh, follow my Twitter. Link in the description for that. Uh, comment below your opinions and your picks and your predictions well for the race. And that's about it. And if you can make it five likes on this video, I really appreciate it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time.